and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. Your girl eyelash glue needs to dry. I'm actually using a clear one instead of a black one, which I'm having like a little bit of regret. I have on my lips, I have Jeffree Star, and this is Karma. At first, it looks funky. Right now, it doesn't look as bad, but we like it. We're feeling the vibe. Let's roll. We're running a little bit, just, 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 just a little bit late, but I'm hungry, so I'm going to stop by to get something to munch on first before going to work. Um, because we need to eat before anything else. Oh, no car. So, so far, Vlogmas is a pretty good, cool thing, the fact that you're recording yourself. My only biggest struggle is uploading it from my phone to my laptop. That's, like, my struggle. Damn, it's been windy. That's, like, my only, like, honest struggle. It's not that it's difficult. It's just it's not loading. Like, I guess because I have the quality up to 4K. So, when I'm recording onto the back side of the camera to the front side it's like super high quality and because it's like super high quality you know it takes a little bit longer to download so I think the fastest way is for basically for me to send it on myself and that's how I'm able to upload it because sometimes even you know backing it up on my iTunes account on my iCloud it's a little bit longer you know and we don't have time and I don't want to like keep having all these videos because I mean I would have it on my YouTube, right? So I was actually not gonna go to work today, but I ended up deciding to go because one, yesterday's sales were pretty damn good. So today I'm hoping the same thing and I'm running a little bit late just because my sister kind of needed some time. So I wanted to not rush her and um, yeah, but it's my fault because again, priorities gotta be on time and my fault on there. I think we're good here, so I'm actually gonna go into work, and um, I'll see you guys later on the runs for food. I ended up bringing Mama's pozole. Um, and again, I don't really eat the chicken because I don't like the chicken that she chooses. She chooses a chicken ah, like a woman, uh, you know, whatever. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be on my way to work. I'm actually at work. I'm gonna go walking. I don't wanna go walking. I think I'm gonna go buy coffee instead. I'll see you guys after. Quick update, I got coffee, I got some cheese croissants, I have another drink right on the side for homegirl because she's hooking it up with the quicks. And um, yeah. Oh. Mm. You know, it's a lot difficult knowing that you're kind of like vlogging, but then it's like, feel like the whole world's looking at you. But ain't nobody looking at you. Nobody. <laughs> All right, people are looking at me weird now. I'm gonna go back to work, finish this up, and let's get this money. Woo, wait, it is chilly. What is freaking up, you guys? I am here, obviously filming. Haha, <laughs> about to tell you guys what's up with my day, y'all. Um, To start off with, we got a warm vehicle. For starters, your girl needs to put on her glasses because you know you need them, Jules, to begin with. But for starters, let me just say, if you guys are willing to spend money on a phone, um, please spend it. Like, come on now. Your girl needs it. But I mean, if you guys are going to be like pick and choose, like, do I, do I not? Like, okay, you know the phones are expensive. You know you're going to leave a good money there, okay? You already know that, right? So why act like if you don't know how much expensive is going to be? Let me just tell you guys. Let me just say. Phones aren't cheap, okay? Back then, people weren't willing to spend 500 700 600 a thousand dollars on a phone. Now these days, best belief people are willing to spend a thousand dollars on a phone. Now, if you are an OG, don't worry about it. You got credit. We can help you with that. But like, please don't, don't. Okay, it's part of customer service, and I totally get it. It's part of customer service that we provide you the customer service for you 
to be able to see how much the value of the product comes out to, which is not a bad thing. But if you're going to be talking so much mess, why? Like, why? Like, I don't get it. Like, why even try? Like, if you're going to be speaking so much blank about the phone prices like come on y'all like i understand it is expensive to me i think it's expensive but y'all willing to spend as much then hey it's a luxury take that luxury take advantage of the luxury that you guys can you know if you could do it then hey why not but anyways today i just had like one little customer that had like a little just, just, just a little attitude and it was like it was like the most dumbest attitude ever so keep in mind that when you have an iphone you have an iCloud and an iTunes account and you have a certain application that you need to access the item such as a Google account if you have a Samsung you know or a Samsung account so how the story goes is basically this customer comes and lets me know hey I bought this phone I'm almost done paying for it I only have two more payments left of the phone and it went black on me it just doesn't let me log in or whatsoever okay so we told him, all right, go to Apple. It's under the first year of manufacture. Go to Apple with the information of the provider whose phone is it so they can unlock it for you and you'll be set because we can't unlock the phone unless the person's here. So the person wasn't here. Okay. So then the customer went to Apple and Apple told him, hey, we need the iCloud. We need to know who's a user account. And he's like, well, it's my son and my son's no longer need this phone. So I just need you to unlock it. I'm assuming that the customer never went to Apple because Apple would never respond like that to begin with. Yes, they need to provide information, but if you just say, hey, my phone is locked, I have the box, I have the proof of purchase, like they are willing to unlock the phone for you without questioning you for your iTunes account, which is the weirdest part. But if you're going to bring it to us, we need that iTunes account because we need to unlock it, put it in our iTunes cloud. Because we cannot factory store it because then again, you don't want whatever is there to be deleted according to what you just told me. You don't want that information deleted. So we need that iTunes account. Now the customer said, you guys are going to fix it or you're going to take the phone back because I don't want it anymore. My son has another one anyways. And you're just like, excuse me, sir, you signed that you're buying the phone. We don't want it back. It's your phone. You bought the phone. It's your phone. You cannot just return a product after a year of use doesn't make any freaking sense but anyways right then the customer is like well I'm not gonna finish paying it off well sir that is an amazing detail like you don't have to tell me that you're not gonna pay it off then don't pay it off guess what happens when you buy something in your credit card and you refuse to pay it you start messing up your credit score then when you start messing up your credit score you go to bankruptcy or you go to collections and then that's your fault it's not my fault why are you threatening me like if it's gonna hurt me it's not gonna hurt me like uh but no sir just wants his money back and money back and money back or he's like i'm not gonna pay for it what's well, under his wife's account okay then don't pay for it let your wife have bad credit because of you um also today there was there was kind of like a misunderstanding but point is someone is responsible for the keys you know you have to open merchandise you have to open certain items and every item has a different key so one i have my own personal keys other people have their own personal keys and then there's the personal key from the store now i honestly don't like letting people use my key because one it could go mia two they could break my key and three you know they could just be really irresponsible we swerving that was a bad swerve don't don't swerve so you know three they could just be irresponsible don't give a crap and then they just keep on giving my key out to other random ass people and then you're like what happened to my keys well you don't know what happened to your keys because that person was really irresponsible well whatever right so then one of our one of my co-workers gave her key to one of the most irresponsible key holders that we have right Obviously, she's doing it by good faith and whatever. So she gives him the key. This guy loses her keys. He loses her freaking keys. Now, he was looking for them. He's not even really actually looking for them. He's just opening the drawers, pretending he's actually looking for them. And he's just like, 
opening. Oh, do you have them? Do you have them? Do you have them? No, she gave them to you, fool. And then he, he has a, he has a decency to say, oh, I don't even know if she actually gave them to me. Like, excuse me? Like, she actually gave you the damn keys and you're going to say it in her face that she didn't even give you the keys? Like, okay. And this is a really immature person to start off with, okay? He does not take any responsibilities. He does not take anything for his actions. Like, nothing. He will prefer blaming the finger on someone else than within himself. Like, I take full responsibility of anything that happens. If I'm teaching someone and that someone messes up... It's my full responsibility because I'm the one who's training her and she's my trainee. And therefore, if she messes up, I messes up. If she looks bad, I look bad. So I take full responsibility no matter what, right? So this person doesn't at all take nothing about responsibility. So then my coworker goes up to him and says, hey, where are my keys? As he does just wander off and doesn't give a crap about the keys anymore because it's like been 30 minutes and just he starts selling instead of looking for her keys, right? She stands there and be like, where are my keys? I gave you my keys and you're not going to give me back my keys? Like, how do you expect me to give you the keys? This customer says, hey, don't be yelling at him like that. And instead of, first of all, she doesn't even yell. She doesn't yell. She just has a nice, strict tone of a boss lady. And the coworker, the coworker, like, he's a mess. He's a mess to begin with, right? So the, the lady, the, the um, customer said don't be talking to him like that who the hell you think you are you should not be talking to him like that it doesn't matter if you're a manager or not now first of all the conversation wasn't even with the customer to begin with second of all instead of him manning up and saying you know what it's not that she's telling me anything bad it's just that i have misplaced her keys and it was my responsibility his mature ass is just like Nodding his head, nodding his head, nodding his freaking head. What kind of pathetic thing? He's just, he's, yeah, he's just a mess, y'all. She ended up finding her keys. Woo, too close to the damn thing. Oh, I almost run myself over. She ended up finding her keys, which is like, because losing keys is like a bitch to begin with. And um, it just sucks how some people are really, one, irresponsible. Two, aren't willing to take up their own word and stick with it and being able to be responsible you know it's just you have those people at work and if you do then you know what i'm feeling if you don't then you'll find one you'll find somebody in the way but i'm gonna go eat because i'm starving i'll show you guys what i'm gonna be eating because mama made pozole but she made it with gallina so it's a hen and not a chicken and it doesn't it's too chewy it's too chewy i don't like it i don't like it so I'm going to go munch right now. I'll see you guys in a bit. And um, for sure, you guys, tomorrow I'm going to be doing the haul. And we're going to probably go to the mall. But shh, because I need to go get this car fixed. You know, it's it's within its mile range already. It's within a mile range. Your girl got her day off. So we're going to do the last half. And I'm about to edit, all right? I'll see you guys in a bit.